this ancient staircase. <laughs> so the stone wall is kind of kind of hard to really tell it. All it is is a bunch of loose rocks. With the leaf, all the leaves down, it's probably going to really be kind of difficult, but you could see kind of loose rocks out there. Right around this area. These are one of the harder stone walls to see, pretty much right here. Howdy folks, Sean here from HikingWithSean.com and today we are at Millstone Bluff. It is first uh, weekend of shotgun hunting season so we're staying out of the part of the forest that you know folks get, can hunt in to give the hunters their space and we're just going to do this little trail here got back from Bellsmith Springs earlier we cl cleaned up a bunch of trash I got cut up by glass on my leg pretty good cut I'll be alright though but the litter bugs cut me <laughs> and right now we're in the quarry part where they mined and made the millstones so pretty cool little area and we're gonna go hike the trail All right, here we go. The history you can pause and read it if you want to. And here's a millstone right there. Preserving the past. Nice little hill all the way up to this point. It's kind of tough. So easy to, easy to climb. You don't have to climb over anything or nothing, but just kind of steep, so it's a gut buster. In case you want to pause and read, talks about the stone fort. You really can't see the stone fort. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of rocks here. That's probably part of it, you know. But I've always thought it's kind of hard to see it right through here, you know, when kind of looking at other stone forts in the in the region. Even the one at Indian Kitchen. Uh, once you notice it, you'll notice it, you know. But if you if you don't look for it, you will pass it right up. So, it's unmarked. But, this whole area is kind of, kind of neat. A little graveyard. That has been robbed many times over the years. come out here and replace the signs and clean them. Try to fix them. And right there is a grave site. That lean on this because it's not attached. Well. Oh. So just kinda all you can really tell is just that one. But I think he just left that so we say that it was a 
you know, just to kind of show you. It's kind of hard to read, but in case you want to pause and kind of read it, it just says this area in front of you is a Mississippian cemetery. People were buried in shallow stone lined graves separated by family differently depending on sex, age, and perhaps for special skills. Infants had a high death rate, while years between childhood and adulthood were relatively healthy. Most individuals lived into their 30s, few longer than 50s. Still in the past, the cemetery has been destroyed by modern looters and digging graves to find burial offerings. The holes and mounds of dirt in front of you are all that remain of this sacred place. Can you imagine this happening to your local cemetery? So, you know, unless that's true, it'd be horrible. <clears throat> yeah, it would be horrible. I don't see how anyone could ever dig, a, dig up a grave. That's just the some of the lowest forms of people. So this is the petroglyph area. The Native American rock carvings are located in this area. You may be able to see them. A lot of leaf coverage. you want to pause kind of read that if you can if you can and over here kind of show you what you're gonna see well they cleaned that off a little so check out the Thunderbird here okay and the spider we'll go over here and hopefully you can see it but right here is the Thunderbird and I think maybe the spiders over there so that's where they carved. Very interesting. Old, you know. All right, the family home. You can maybe able to see a depression. There's one right there, yeah, kind of right. around the tree. There's one next to it. They're, they're kind of all through here. There, there's one there. So. And one right there. So they're pretty close to each other. And then there's this big one that they call the community building. So it's much larger than the others, likely was a public building, much like our modern meeting halls. So, pretty neat. Could have been where the tribe met and decided what to do next, you know. This was long before we came along, so um, they really didn't interact with Maybe just other other tribes that are, were, were part of the Mississippian culture. There's a depression, a couple of them. A little community up here, you know. And you just kind of wonder, you know, what was it like for them? Was it peaceful? Was it violent? You know, was it just hunting and making making pottery and stuff like that? Pretty interesting, the public square. Just imagine. Hmm. There you go. Good quote. That's pretty much 
the hike all together. Um, less than a mile. Well, once we get down, there'll be a mile. So it's a short little hike. Definitely recommend if you have kids. So, yeah. There's some, some of the rock. Pretty fun little hike. Fun little adventure. Thanks for watching. I like these stairs better than the ones at Bell Smith. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. I agree with you on that. I mean, the ones at Bell Smith are constructed very well. They're cool, but um, but these have levels. <laughs> the CCC was in better shape than us. <laughs> but hope you like the video. Like, like it, comment on it, share it, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Even if you just join YouTube just to subscribe to me, it helps. Check out the description below for a guide about this place or how to get here and everything, all sorts of fun stuff. Social media stuff's down there. Other other ways you can help if you want to help. You can become a Patreon member for as little as $3 a month. You get all sorts of extra features. Cancel any time, no contract. So that's it's not an obligation. That's totally up to you. So thanks for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. And until next time. <laughs> Michelle will see you on the trail with leaves. <laughs>